Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. You ever get in your car, go to put it in gear, and it just seems it's really, really loose? Like that. Absolutely no resistance at all. You know nothing's happening on the other on the cable. Uh, today I'm going to show you what generally what happens, and I'm going to show you how to repair it. Today I'm working on a 2000 Ford F350 with a beautiful 7.3 power stroke. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. As you can see right now, this piece that goes on the transmission that actually puts it into gear, it came off. Now the guts inside are missing, no doubt it's because it's plastic. What we're going to do is we're actually going to replace this piece because of the fact that there's nothing left inside to grab that little knob. So the way it works is that it'll pull or it'll push depending on what gear you want to go into. So um, as you can see right now, it's set up for it, but it just comes right off and uh i'm gonna buy this i'm gonna put this plastic piece on this is the part right here it's a dorman product 14908 and you can get it at like o'reilly's or autozone or something like that now the way that's kind of comes off is you got to kind of lift up on it and kind of push it okay and then lift up on it push it some more and it comes right off this little piece right here comes off the other side. Boom, that's it. All right, now this piece, you can tell it's just a push on fit. It's just designed, I don't know if you can see inside there, but just kind of pops right on there. So I'm gonna push it in there. Looks like you gotta adjust it too. It's because you can see these little notches. Once you put that on there, it'll lock it into place. So, I got that on there. I got it where I want it. That way, there's not gonna be no issue. So what I did is I'm, I adjusted it to where it's going to uh, be perfect. All right now it's in park up in there. So right now, if you just, what we're gonna do once we're done, we're just gonna pop it on there. And then it's gonna lock it in place, so. Um, Basically, kind of start, slide that thing on there. All right, pop it on there, slide it down, move it back and forth to make sure you're in there. And that's all there is to it. There's really not much uh, holding this bad boy on there, but this repair will last a long time. It's a lot cheaper than replacing the whole cable and a lot less uh, work too, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Catch you later.